When working with MCU development tools, it's possible to encounter unexpected issues during programming. Before contacting technical support and waiting for a reply, you can perform a few simple steps to diagnose and possibly resolve the problem yourself, allowing your project to get back on track without much delay. This series of webinars on programmer diagnostics addresses the most commonly reported issues when using CCS Load with CCS programmers. When programming fails, open up the message log to look for details describing the failure. If programming failed because the chip wasn't detected, as in this example, the most likely causes are there's a loose cable or poor connection, the target device is wrong, the target chip voltage isn't correct, there's a problem with the design of the ICSP circuit itself. In this webinar, we'll show you how to quickly diagnose these issues, starting with the easiest items to check for, then progressing to issues that take more time to resolve. When CCS load is unable to detect the target device, the easiest thing to check for is a loose modular cable or bent or corroded leads. Check both the ends of the cable in the connectors on both the programmer and target board. When you reconnect the cables, you should hear an audible click. If the issue wasn't caused by a loose cable, the Diagnostics tab in CCS load gives you access to utilities that will help you track down the cause of programming issues. A quick check of the voltmeter in CCS load will confirm if the target device's VDD is in the proper range for programming. However, we can see that there is a mismatch between the device ID that was expected and the ID read from the target. Make sure that the correct target device is selected in CCS load. When it is, the ID read from the target will match the expected value. If VDD isn't in the proper range, we'll use the voltmeter in CCS load to observe VDD while we troubleshoot the power supply issue. Make sure your target board's power supply is turned on and connected, and that the target voltage is in the proper range. Watch how the voltmeter responds as I toggle the target board's power supply on and off. If you are expecting the programmer to supply VDD, be sure that you have it configured properly to do so. Instructions for configuring the Primate Production Programmer and Load and Go Portable Programmer are contained in their own online webinars, so we won't repeat them again here. However, we will cover the MockX and ICDU64 programmers. The MockX programmer is configured to provide programming voltage by selecting the appropriate radio button in CCS Load. To set the voltage level, click on the Settings tab. Use the slider to specify the target board supply voltage. The default value is 5 volts, but the supply voltage can be set as low as 2 volts. Be careful. If the voltage is set to a higher level than the target board can handle, or if the target board is powered with a separate supply, there is a risk of damaging or burning out the board. You can configure the ICDU64 to provide either 3.3 volts or 5 volts for programming by setting the appropriate jumper. Just pop open the case with a screwdriver and install a jumper as indicated. If you are using a programmer to supply voltage and the programming voltage is lower than what you have set, it's a good indication that the target is drawing more current than the programmer can supply at the desired voltage. Download the chart that accompanies this video to see how much current each CCS programmer can provide at various voltage levels. CCS Load contains two utilities that will help you troubleshoot signals on the three ICSP pins used for programming, MClear, PGC, and PGD. You can perform static tests on the circuits driving these pins by using CCS Load to pull these pins high and low, then checking voltage levels with a digital voltmeter. You can also perform dynamic tests on the circuits driving these pins by using CCS Load to perform continuous device ID read operations and checking signal integrity with a scope. If none of these tests have identified the problem, make sure there are no other components such as resistors, capacitors, or other ICs interfering with the ICSP circuit on your board. Refer to this diagram when checking your ICSP circuit. The only required component is, at minimum, a 47K pull-up resistor on the mClear signal line. CCS hopes that the information provided in this webinar helped to resolve your programming issues. If issues are still encountered after following these diagnostic procedures, then the best course of action is to contact CCS Technical Support. When emailing Technical Support, please describe the steps you have followed along with any error messages or indicators on the programmer that appeared. Be sure to include the version of CCS Load software being used and the version of firmware loaded into the programmer. 
Sending this information can help save time and speed up the response time for a possible solution from technical support.